Today we're hanging up a couple traps for the Asian giant hornet. Uh, I follow the instructions that were from uh, Washington State Department of Agriculture and I'll put them uh, into this video here. I'm going to hang it, um, they say anywhere between four and six feet off of the tree. I'm using some wire to do this. So I'm just going to, I'm going to hang it up here and we'll twist it into place and then we'll, uh, we'll hang another piece of wire to make it nice and stable. And that's it for right now. Um, what we have to do is leave this here for a week and see um, what type of, uh, what we get in here. We'll have to strain it out after one week's time period. Um, the mixture in here is uh, half a cup of orange juice, half a cup of rice wine, and I've added a little extra alcohol in there. The rice wine is supposed to be between 15 and 25%, and the rice wine we get from the market is not that strong. So I had to make it a little bit stronger. As you can see, we, here we have the um, a, uh, a three quarter inch by three quarter inch. Uh, it's a little bit longer than that on the height um, opening for these. It has to be large enough for the uh, Asian um, uh, wasp to get in here. And what you do is you fold the top uh, piece in and the bottom piece down. So when they land, they'll come in here and they'll land on the uh, landing here and then go into the trap and hopefully we'll capture them. Uh, we're using rice wine because honeybees, uh, the pollinators, do not like the rice wine. So hopefully we don't capture any uh, honeybees in here. The idea of doing this is we're going to do a test this week, and if we do capture wasps, we'll register the traps. Uh, we have two traps, so we have to keep them 50 feet apart. So um, I'm going to hang one here, and then we'll go and hang the other one. Okay, we're going to hang the second trap up here. I'm using a ladder. I want to get it get it a little bit higher. The first one we hung around four feet. This is gonna be about six feet up here. Uh, and we're, uh, we are uh, we are 50 feet, uh, well, we're more than 50 feet away from where the uh, from where the other trap is. You will have to maintain that 50 foot distance. And what we'll do is we'll get this uh, wrapped up here and we'll leave this hanging for uh, a week and we'll see what, what we get, if anything. And that's, uh, that's the most important part right there. Leave it for a week. Um, hopefully we get just the the uh, the hornets and we don't get the and we don't get the uh, honeybees. So we'll see what we're doing, what we got here. Of course, uh, I'm going to repeat again. This um, is orange juice and rice wine, and I fortified it with a, a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol because the rice wine doesn't have high enough content. Uh, there was a suggestion that we used, uh, instead of isopropyl alcohol, we used uh, vodka. So we have vodka and orange juice, a uh, little cocktail there with some rice wine. Um, I went with the uh, isopropyl alcohol. Make sure that the, uh, the little door is folded down. There's enough room through these holes for the, for the, uh, for the hornet to get in there. But it's, it, if you used a regular wasp uh, trap, it would be too small for them to get in. That's why we're using, uh, we had to cut the larger holes and make our own traps here. We'll see how this looks in a week and we'll see if we get any of them in there or any other uh, wasp in there. Hopefully we don't have any honeybees and, um, and follow the instructions for making these if you want to make them on your own uh, and make sure you register them once you put them in there so they can, um, so they can find out where this infestation is. One of the things about this is if you decide to do this, it's a 17 week commitment and they want you to start trapping in July. Uh, right now I'm trapping early because we could get a queen. They say you can start trapping now. I prefer getting the queens uh, if I can, but um, they want all the trapping to really start in July for 17 weeks.